So this video is gonna be a little bit more serious than my other videos because we're gonna to touch on a topic that I never really thought that I would be talking about because I never thought I would be that close to burning myself out that I actually was. But if I try to think back on August, September and October in 2019, I literally cannot remember anything that I did those couple of months. It is really scary. And the only way that I actually know what I did during those couple of months is when I look back at what I posted onto Instagram or what I posted here on YouTube. And I think that that is one of the biggest signs that you are actually really close to burning out. So if you've been here on the channel like for a long time or if you're just joining in, 2019 was by far one of the most intense years that I've had. Like I worked such an incredible amount of hours during that year. And the reason that I wanna talk about this subject in particular is because even though I'm like a, an advocate of the consistency is key, hard work, hustle and all that, it's also really important to not forget to actually stop and reflect what you've achieved and where you want to be. I mean, in the beginning of 2019, I decided to quit my job and try to be a full-time freelancer. And I gotta say, to this day, it still amazes me how Amanda managed to take care of Alex all of those days when I wasn't home because I was working literally like 12 to 16 hours every single day. I never took a weekend off. I didn't do <laughs> anything that I was supposed to do at home. Like I, the only thing that I focused on was What's going to be the next step? How am I going to move forward from this? So for example, when I was doing YouTube videos, I always created a video. And when I was like starting to finish up the edits of that video, I started to think about the next video that I want to do instead of like actually reflecting and like giving myself a pat on the back that I finished up that video. I haven't been working out a single day in 2019, which is something that I kind of regret now afterwards. There's been so many days where I just like woke up, I had my breakfast, went to work, and then I got home at like midnight, and then I realized that, okay, I haven't had any lunch or any dinner, so yeah, I gotta have some eggs. You know, that, that was the kind of like routine that I had during the end of, of 2019, and that is also why I was able to work as much as I did. I think that the main reason that I was able to keep that amount of work intensity up was because of you guys, because we kept growing here on the channel, and we kept like this awesome community and tried to like push each other to go forward, and that was basically what made me to be able to keep making videos at the rate that I did. And I do appreciate each and every one of you that is watching my videos. That is like something, I, I'm so humbled that there's so many of you out there that are supporting me in what I do and actually helping me to be able to do this and create more videos for you. It's kind of hard to explain the feeling that I had, but it basically was this like a tunnel vision, you know, when you like build yourself into a corner and you don't see anything outside of the tunnel because the only thing that you're focusing on is where is this tunnel gonna take me and when's the next tunnel starting? And even though it's a good thing to like keep up the consistency and push out videos and do what you want to do to become better, it's also dangerous, you know, because like my thought process during the last half of 2019 has been all over the place. And I mean, like, just because I worked so incredibly much during 2019, I sacrificed a lot of time that I could have spent with my fiance and my son. And that time is something that I never will be able to get back. And the reason that I'm bringing this up now is because when you are close to burning yourself out, that is also probably when you think that you're not close to burning yourself out because that was the feeling that I had because I thought if I just kept on working I'm gonna get back to like feeling myself again but what I realized was that when I actually took some time off now during the holidays like Christmas and New Year's that is when I was able to like calm myself down after a couple of days and reflect 
on the ending of 2019. So I guess the whole point of this video is that don't be afraid to like stop and actually reflect and give yourself a pat on the back because you actually achieved something good by posting a video, even though you just post one video every week or that you just got 100 subscribers on your channel because those things are huge. Like you are doing something that a lot of people aren't doing. You're actually trying. And that is like, that is what we have to focus on, not comparing ourselves to other people and seeing their success and thinking that, why do I not have that? I'm still gonna tell you that if you want to achieve success in any kind of form, then you have to put in the hard work, but never, never be afraid to like stop and appreciate the work that you've already put in. I don't know what to think about this, but I felt like the need to actually relieve some stuff that was on my chest and talk about burning out because I think it's something that is really dangerous. And I think that when you are like in the actual process of becoming burnt out, that is also when you don't see the signals of it at all. So I just want to give you my heartfelt thank you for everything that you have done for me in 2019 and that you are here watching my videos. I so appreciate all the support that I'm getting from you and uh, I really hope that you will stay with me in 2020 because it's gonna be a really good year. I got a good feeling about that and I really want to give back even more to you this year than I did last year because you guys deserve it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. And I really hope that I will see you in the next one.